spent $900 on every big brand vodka name from Smirnoff to Grey Goose and 22 others in between to answer the good old question, what does Doak Orion think about these potatoes? This is the Doak Orion Big Brand Vodka Tier List Taste Test! So there's 24 different vodkas that are here that uh, we're gonna taste one by one and we're gonna put them on a list, an S tier to an F tier. S being the tip top cream of the crop, F being an F. And I hope that the comment section is gonna have a friendly discussion about why I'm 100% right and that nobody will disagree with my choosings. And make sure you stay tuned because at one point I'm gonna tell you about how I make all my crazy videos and still wake up fresh as a daisy with Z-Biotics. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move all these out of the way. <laughs> don't help, don't help. The criteria for today are just regular non-flavored vodkas, so you won't see any like flavored absolutes or Ciroc's or anything like that. It's just gonna be plain Jane vodkas. That's today's video, okay? And I didn't film this halfway through the video. I filmed this at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Smirnoff vodka! <laughs> Starting things off with the tried and true Smirnoff vodka. 10 times distilled. This is like, I don't know, this is what everybody buys when it's their first vodka, right? Like, I don't know, it's a good mixer. It smells like vodka. Woo! This is the beginning of what I assume is gonna be the worst possible video. By the way, this this isn't me going crazy. This is a this is a scientific test that needs to be tested. There's nobody else is gonna do it, okay? It's me. I'm the perfect person to do this, okay? My face is on a bottle of vodka, okay? So I'm the one to do this. If not me, who else? Starting off strong with Smirnoff. Diboja. Okay. Here's my problem with Smirnoff vodka. It's got a, like a real earthy taste at the back end. It's not bad, but it's like... It's got a good burn. Th this is the way I like to explain vodkas and like the, the, you're gonna hear a lot of nonsense. I'm not even a professional. Or am I? But I, I always find like dr vodkas have different tiers. They have a burn tier and then a finish tier. And it comes in three stages. The beginning where you first take it and ingest it. The middle where it's like, mm, you now you're tasting it. And then the end where you're like, I'm finished tasting it. This one starts off with like a medium burn, goes into something that I feel is like a, a nice twang twisty twang, and then it goes directly into a finish of Earth, which is fine, but it could be better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Smirnoff as the C tier. We're gonna start it off, it's a middle tier ground. Smirnoff Vodka gets a C tier. Oh boy, am I gonna get drunk quick. What's next? Second on the list, Tito's. I've never had Tito's. I think this might be a good one. A lot of people say it's one of the best tasting vodkas. We're gonna see about that. That smells way more like bug spray. God dang. Where's this made? Austin, Texas. I knew a guy named Austin once. It'll do. All right. Tito's handmade vodka. It's time for a shot. 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 I do this all the time, Dylan. It's time for a shot. It's time, 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 it's time for a shot. I'm gonna use that one. Is this a bigger shot glass? Hold on. Okay, none of these are the same stocks. Still smells very, uh, smells wild. I'm not gonna lie. Am I sweaty? Do I have a piece of hair that was like hanging out? This is a real hard video. I haven't even done one shot. I've done one shot. All right. Diboja. Wow. Okay. Tito's is very different. That's smooth all the way through, but then you get like a metallic taste at the end. So I like this one. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
I like this one a lot more than I like Smirnoff. Like, a lot more. That doesn't have, like, that, that granule taste at the end, like you're drinking sandpaper. This one kind of gives me more of, like, a like a lighter feel. It's not as heavy. Like, I feel like you could drink more of this bottle than you could of Smirnoff. Tito's is getting a big B. Wow, Tito's not bad, though. I kind of like Tito's. They, like, the hype, they live up to the hype. I can tell you they live up to the hype. And like, can you, let's be honest here. The rose gold cap, kind of nice. Wow. And you think it's a plastic bottle, but that that's glass, baby. How sweaty am I? Am I like glistening in, this, in the lights? Coming up next, we got Lux Sasawa. Oh, Luku, Luku, Luku. Wow, am I sweating a lot? All right, let's go. So this one is a potato vodka from Poland. Hey, Poland. No, no, no. Ooh. Like not, like Tito's had a very like big bug spray smell. This one doesn't have that at all. This one's like quite nice. It's time for a, it's time for a shot. It's time for a shot. That'll do for me. <laughs> That feels like I'm not pouring a lot. I like that. You know what? Honestly, after this, I'm doing half shots, man. I can't keep up with this. Oh God. Okay, one more big smith sniff. That smells fine. What's gonna happen to me at the end of this video? Post in the comments section. Am I gonna die? <laughs> no, okay, let's go. Actually, first we gotta talk about our sponsor of today's video. When I'm making a Doka Ryan video, I want to wake up the next day feeling energized, rejuvenated, and you know, with a lot of clarity so I can get through the rest of my day and edit my videos. And that's where I can trust Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol that is most responsible for that not so good feeling that you get the morning after drinking. For me, it's a game changer because you just grab one, give it a little shaky shake, and take it before you take your first drink of alcohol in the night. And if you drink responsibly and you pace yourself, you can wake up the next morning feeling very peachy keen. Ooh, it's minty. The big thing for me is that it's a real science that works and not just some plant extract or off the shelf remedy that you found on Google at 3 a.m. It's real. Fact, when you drink a toxic byproduct known as acyl held acyl acidaldehyde acyl hide acyl hydrate um acyl dendehyde e acetaldehyde is built up in your unprepared gut. It's not dehydration that makes you feel terrible in the morning. It's going to be that pesky acidaldehyde. Acyl acyl acid it's that pesky acetaldehyde. Zbiotics produces an enzyme like the one that your liver makes to break this byproduct down. So get 15% off your first order of Zbiotics with my code DOKARYAN. I actually recommend the six pack here so you can share it with some friends. Click the link in the description and head to zbiotics.com slash DOKARYAN or scan that QR code that's on the screen right now. Did you do it? All right, back to the video. Three. Two, one, David Blaine. Ooh, whoa. Okay, this is ridiculously smooth. So this, this one starts off with like a very light and then it goes into a medium and then it ends off with like bug spray, but a very good palatable bug spray. That could be because I've had many shots before this, but here's what I think. What is this, a potato? It's a potato vodka from Poland? Yeah, yeah, it's kosher. Yeah, it's just what I thought. It's a luxury potato vodka. That's how you know it's quality. All right, in, in, in relevance to Tito's, I'm gonna put this one at a, uh, a delectable B. I think it deserves a, a, a spot on the B list because it's basically the same, but you don't get like that, that weird end tone of like the burn. You get like a, it's light to medium. It's pretty good. It's it's B it's B material, okay? It's B material. Look sus? Not on my watch. Among us? We're moving a half. We're moving a half of this. If I do if I do any more, we're at three. I didn't eat enough. I had one rice cake. Dylan, there's like 21 left. Legally I'm okay. Oh, am I sweating? 
Jordan, I think I'm sweating. <laughs> no, like a lot. I think I am though. Like a lot. Yeah. Dude, I can't drive. Alright, give me the give me the lid. Keep on the <laughs> What lid? The lid that I flicked off. You know the thing that I do? Wow, Dylan. I thought you knew me. Alright. Alright, what are we doing? Um <laughs> Coming up next, we got polar ice vodka, the best vodka from Toronto. <laughs> Next on the list, we got Polar Ice Vodka. Again, I'm Canadian, so these are gonna be top brands in Canada. You might see some that you don't know. That's okay. Quadruple distilled? Oh my god, look, you can see the little like, the little like polar bears on there? It's gonna add some points for sure. This is one of the more cheaper vodkas, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, glass bottle means good. That's what I think. Sniff test. Fruity. So every every one of these has smelled like bug spray, but this one is more of like a, if you've ever had like a Tresemme hairspray, this smells like more of like a fruity, like well-bodied Tresemme. Wow. I hope Tresemme is not just Canadian because I'm going to look really silly. I was supposed to go half shots. Man, we'll keep going. <laughs> For you could just pour it back in like half a minute. I, no, I could. Look. From here on in, I will do half shots. Look, <laughs> fast pour, okay? They, this the polar bears, man. Doing it for the polar bears. They're going extinct. We gotta save uh, the ice caps, man. They're melting. Come on. Am I sweating? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best video. Come on, we're on. We're on. We're on drink four. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Better stay to the end. Oh, oh, oh! You may be wondering, have you hit that sub button yet? I know a lot of you haven't. In fact, fun fact, did you know 12% of you are subscribed? That means a whopping 88% of you aren't subscribed. You gotta hit that button. You gotta smash that bell button because that's gonna get you notified when I make a video <laughs> straight to whatever device you're on. Come on. And, god dang it, do that. You don't wanna miss this. This is, I'm gonna do tears. I'm gonna destroy a local business one day. It's foreshadowing. We gotta keep going. All right, polarized vodka, baby. All right, Diboja. Whoa, that's not a good one. That one's like gross. So. Uh, we're going again with that exp explanation of the, the, the beginning, middle, and end. Beginning is very nice. Like, it tastes like you're drinking water. And then it goes into, like, hard metallic pennies. Do you remember pennies? When we had pennies? Tastes like pennies. And then it finishes off with, like, the biggest burst of aerosol canned hairspray in your mouth. This would not be good in a mix at all. This is trash. Honestly, I'd be embarrassed if I made this product. I'm being honest. Leave it in. What, what do I have to get? I have my own vodka. I can trash anybody I want. Do you want to Like, this is so trash and bad. Um, I'm going to put this on the D tier, though, because I think that beginning was fine. So, Polar Ice gets a D. The first D ever. I'm going to have to take half shots. <laughs> like, this is getting too wild. Oh! <clears throat> it tastes like Polar Ice. I'm not metabolizing. It's okay. I'm fasting. I've been fasting. Let's let's move it up to a more expensive one. I'll puke if I have troika. Tassel, red tassel. So red tassel is from. Okay, red tassel. It's a uh, it's a plastic bottle, so you can do this, and you don't need to you don't need to worry about the things that you're near. Getting hurt. All right, red tassel. Never doing that again. It's time for a shot. I hate these little like filtered spouts. They're so hard to pour. Sniff test. Hear me out. Red tassel. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Legally, I don't think I can drive. And that's when I know I'm at my limit. I almost dropped a bottle. Tastes like, it smells like air. Dibosia. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this one is very stingy all the way through, but it's like, it starts off like with like a nice like, like imagine you're drinking like a nice puff of air and then it goes into like a nice sizzle, like a skillet sizzles really well. Imagine a sizzling skillet and then it drops off into a nice burn. There's really no flavor to this one. Uh, this one doesn't have like a gross crap t flavor at the end, like an earthiness. There's no bug spray at all, which is ridiculous. I think this is one of the cheaper ones because of the plastic bottle. Wow. Um, red, red tassel gets an A. Believe it or not, red tassel. Red tassel is on the A list. Who would have thought? Not me, not I, not this guy. That's crazy, because it didn't have a smell. That's what I think. Let's keep going. Let's find out, let's find that lid. Core vodka sounds pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's a Ukraine vodka. So it's from Ukraine, which is cool. Hi, it's me, I'm Doka Ryan. You may remember me from the videos where I do the uh, In A Jar series. Um, oh, I'm leaving in a, for a week or. Tell something interesting happens. That's me. Um, today, you may find that this is even more interesting than what I'm used to making. And that's because I thought about it. And I did a lot of marketing. And uh, if you're watching this and you're liking it, that's because you've hit the notification button. That's right. This is all a ploy. Hit the notification button. Make sure you get notified. 12 people. Don't subscribe. 12% of you subscribed. And you got notifications on. That's not enough. That's nowhere near enough. Bump those numbers up. You want me to fail? Time for a shot. No, it's not It's not early enough. All right, we're good. All right, it's time for, it's time for a shot. I'll take it. Medium bug spray flavor at the beginning. You can really smell the feels. I shouldn't have had all those. I should have had half shots from the get-go. So when I make more of these types of pieces of content, I'm probably going to reduce the amount of vodkas or the amount of, I'm going to reduce the amount of alcohols and I'm going to take the uh, smaller shots. Wow. Let's pour the shot. Kor from Ukraine. That's such a big shot. Pour it back in. No, Ryan. it's okay, Dylan. It's not okay. Hey, Dylan, we live in Canada. Healthcare is free. If I go to the hospital, it's paid for. By the government? Dibosia. Ooh. Oh. I gotta say it. So, if you've ever been to like a seafood restaurant and you get like that, that smell that co coats the back of your throat, it gives me more of like a seafood restaurant, like taste at the back. It starts off with a really heavy pom not pomegranate, salt flavor-esque thing. Like it's not very palatable at the beginning. Dylan. Starts off salty, falls into like an oyster territory. I don't know why, like, like a tin can of an oyster. Like, you know, when you like have something that's been in a can for a while, that's what it tastes like. But then it falls off into like a weird mushy carrot territory like vegetable oil, you know what I mean? Not really the best. I can't say I really like Core Vodka to the T. Core Vodka gets a D. D for Doak Orion or D on the list of tears? So I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dylan. Yeah, from here on in, no more. You said that how many times already? <laughs> They're fast, dude, they pour, they pour so fast. You don't understand. Oh my God, you're already so <laughs> They're very, am I sweating? Oh, Dylan, uh, bing, 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 bing. We've finished five drinks. You know what that means? It's time to cleanse the glass. Here at the Noka residence, we actually have uh, a delectable thing called purified water. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Pretty much every single one of these 
is gonna be rinsed out. Because we don't want cross contamination, that's bad. Bartender trick 101, clean your, clean your glasses. Pour out the excess. Do a quick... Oh. Nailed it. What is this one? Chase? 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 Chase! When you are proud of making something, put your name on it. Some dude named Chase Smith? Oh, literally some dude named Ch William Chase, founder of Chase Distillery. This William Chase guy has probably got the hottest head. Probably drives like a kit Lambo. Pretends it's a real Lambo. The spirit of Herefordshire? Is that a real place? We gotta film. All right, comes with a bow tie though, and I like that. Uh, Chase Vodka. Uh, it's from, it looks like, uh, is that like? Cuba. Uh, we're gonna try this amazing thing. This is one of the more expensive bottles, so we're gonna go in. Uh, English potato vodka in Herefordshire, England. I'm cool with it. Celebrating 10 years. Good job, Chase. Love to hear it. Oh, wow. A rip and seal. That's what I like to hear. Oh, and a branded tip top. You don't get these anywhere. You have to pay extra. Come on, I know. Have you seen the no? Uh, wow! Oh, it's a pop top. I'm actually very excited for this. I paid extra, you know. Wow! Okay, Chase vodka. Somehow they infuse a vanilla like overtone to this. Wow! Is Chase really chasing the dream, or is he chasing failure? It's time for a shot. We don't screw around on this channel. God, I hope Chase Vodka is good. It comes with a bow tie. It's got to be sophisticated, right? I'm so sorry. I'm going to pour it back. I'm going to pour it back. Diboja. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Chase Vodka has a really like, so it starts off metallic. Goes into something that's more smooth, but like it draws off that metallic flavor, which is nice. But it, it ends in a vanilla note, which is kind of odd, but I kind of like it. Chase, you might have some, some great charm. Let's just put this puppy on. Let's put, I'll put it on my hat. There we go. Chase Vodka's on the A tier, baby. We're going A's for days, A's for days. You ever like wake up and think about your existence? Can you imagine? I can, but we're gonna live through it. So Sky Vodka's from San Francisco, hey? 1992, filtered with California limestone and uses water with Pacific minerals. We're out here. Oh, I love the cricks and the cracks. Sniff test. Mmm, that's not very, very, it's very fragrant of the bug spray genre. The bug spray genre, it's time for a shot. All right, San Francisco, tell me what you got. Diboja. Whoa. Mm. Okay. The beginning stings, it's kind of peppery, you know? It's kind of peppery, which is kind of weird. It starts off with like a nice peppery flavor. Then it goes into something that like drops off on the pepper but it finishes off with that bug spray flavor. So I'm not a big fan of the Sky Vodka. So San Francisco, which of course means a whale's vagina. I'll put you on the C tier. I'll put you on the C tier. It's, it, I think it'd be a good mix, but I don't think it would be a good mix with something like Sprite. Sky Vodka's on the C tier, baby! Wow. Who would've thought? Not me. Think I can get, think I can... Think I can flick this onto the bottle? Pretty close. This this reminds me a lot more of like like the Smirnoff in a way, but again, it doesn't have the earthy tone at the end. More or less has that bug spray. So, like if you're drinking Sky Vodka, you might as well just drink gin by this point. Keep it in San Francisco. So basically at this point, I decided to put it on a beef stew. <laughs> We're gonna be fine, okay? More drinks! Where's my vodka? Russian Prince Vodka.
It's in a bona fide plastic bottle. Looks like soap in there, huh? Uh, so we're gonna go Russian Prince. Hold on, check it out. Russian, Russian flip. Russian Prince vodka. This is what the people are clamoring about. Oh, I, I always have this like, it, it smells meaty. And I mean this, it smells so meaty at the end. It's not, it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna off the bat, off the bat, <laughs> off the bat. It's not gonna be good. It's time for a shot. I'm only doing it once. I don't care anymore. All right, Diboja. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh God. That tastes like, it tastes like you left it in a freezer full of meat. That's sick. That's disgusting. A tier. No, F. Okay. This is the trashiest vodka that I've ever had in my entire life. Triple distilled? With what? Human feces? This is terrible. Where is this made? Doesn't tell me. Russia? Trash. F. F tier. F tier for the Russian Prince Vodka. This, what, the Prince of the F. He's a Prince of the F tier. That's what he is. It tastes so meaty. It starts off really like, it starts off strong, really heavy, really, really heavy, really like stingy, middles off to stingy, ends with stingy poop. Like meaty, meaty, meaty poop. F tier. I wanna, th I'm, follow me. in the toilet. Get, get, get in there. Stolchnik shia, Stolchnik shnia. Stol? Stolik nia. Stolik, okay. So it's pronounced Stolik naya? Stolik naya? We're trying the Stolik naya vodka. So it's from, oh, Latvia. Cool, Latvia. So it's a Latvian vodka. Uh, Stoli. Time for a shot. It's time for a shot. Boom! Very odd. It's kind of bug spray E. Three. <laughs> Diboja. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Dolich Naya, I think, has like more of a. You get that grainy at the end, which. It's okay. Off the I gotta put Stolich, Stolich at the A tier because I feel as though it's a very good, well-rounded vodka. It starts out very medium bodied. It's very like, it, it hits with that grain, but I feel as though it really mediums the grain feel, but it ends off with a really pleasant like smoothness that I'm not used to in a vodka so far. So I gotta put this one at the A tier. So, wow. Pretty good. Definitely the, the alpha great spirit starts with A and that's where it's gonna land. Nice, good job. Is this not the right lid, Dylan? Dylan, this isn't the lid that goes on Stolch and Naya. Naya. What does this go to? RP? Russian Prince? Dylan, where did I put the Russian Prince vodka? In the toilet. Right, 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 right. I'm a mess. Nine so far, Dylan. Hey! What better one to go with than the, uh, the gold version of the Stolich Naya vodka? So this is a Stolichnaya vodka, but it's actually the tier above. So this is what they call the gold edition of uh, Stolichnaya. Uh, it's probably not how you say the name, but it's a Stoli vodka, top tier Stoli vodka. I like the way that the bottle looks, by the way. Very cool. Very cool bottle. Stoli gold is a marriage of modern technology. Ah, it's fine. All right, we're just gonna go into it. Oh, you can tell something's quality by the pop top. Sniff test. 
Wow, okay. More fragrant. It cuts out that Stolich, um, that, that weird bug spray thing is gone. <sighs> this smells really good. I like that. All right, let's go deep. Let's go deep into this. The gold edition, baby. It's time for a shot. I can do that one more time. It's time for a shot. It's even better, right? No? It's time for a shot. Beauty. All right. Diboja. Ooh, oh, oh. That's not good at all. Okay, it starts out really smooth, smoother than the regular Stolchich. The, the thing that I don't like about it is that it mediums out into like that, that medium that I, that I don't like. It goes in a bug spray immediately, but only for a hint. And then what it does is it, it, it carries off and it ends in like a very, very metallic flavor. Not handsome, not pretty. I don't like it. I hate to say it. The more expensive bottle of Stolchi is going to go down to an F tier. It's not good. Very overpowering. Very bad. Hold on. Hold on. We got to do the math. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at eleven. <laughs> oh, oh! One more, and we're at the halfway point. Well, we're at the eleventh shot, which means you better believe it. It's time to cleanse the glass. This is where we go and we cleanse the glass. This is purified Doka Ryan house water. Why would I do that? Next on the list. Crystal Head Vodka. World renowned, second most expensive bottle of vodka that I bought. Uh, I'm ready for it. I believe the, uh, the one guy that makes it. Great dude. Silky smooth with a hint of sweetness and vanilla. I'll be the judge of that. After this, I've never had Crystal Skull Vodka. It smells like nothing. Wow. Give me that. I can only smell your fingers. Wow. It's time for a skull. You know what? I feel like I need to do the full experience of Crystal Skull. All right. It smells like nothing. That's incredible. All right, Skull Boja. Uh, uh! Oh! Where's that hint of vanilla? There's no vanilla. They lied. That's not. That's not worth the the the, the second or third most expensive vodka. Like I understand you're paying for a crystal skull, but like, honestly, grab a bottle of Stolich. Like that's all you gotta do. D tier. D tier for the Crystal Skull Vodka's D tier. It's not good. It, it, it I guess I'll explain. It, it's very perfumey at the beginning, but like an, a, a very good aroma perfume. So like very like, that's where you get, I guess that vanilla flavor from. But then it goes into that strong pestilence of chemicals, which I don't like. It's really, oh, it's terrible. And then it rounds off with just like a lighter version of chemical taste. Like you're, you're paying for the bottle, essentially. That's why it's a D tier, okay? Crystal Skull, D tier, D -tier vodka. Not good. Put it in the gar, put it in the garbage. Wow, I think it's all coming together. I think I'm sober. I'm sobering up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something so sober, it's gonna blow your mind. If you think about today's culture and the way that we think about today's <laughs> Let me tell you about Troika.
okay? My good friend, my dear friend Derek had Troika at his house. Right when I came out with Vodoka Vodka, I was like, hey Derek, you're buying vodka? Get Vodoka. And he's like, okay. He didn't do it. But what he did do is he bought Troika. <laughs> Troika. I had a good, like, this amount of the entire bottle mixed with, like, iced tea, straight, whatever. I'm gonna tell you right now. What I say about Troika is an absolute fact. Buy it yourself. I don't care if I'm giving Troika a free advertisement. Buy Troika so you can experience the Troika life. It is so bad. That's how trash it is. Sniff it. Smells okay. It smells like it's like just a regular bug spray about to happen. It's like, okay, it's a vodka. It's a conventional vodka. Put it down. Look at the bottle. It's glass. Get your shot glass. Put it here. Boom. Time for a shot. Doesn't need to even line up. Boom. Time for a shot. Boom. Time for a shot. Boom. Time for a shot. Boom. Troika. Down the hatch. Diboja. Don't buy this brand. Don't buy Troika. Don't buy any of its Troika brand products. This is trash. It's made in Texas, I think, or DA. Uh, it's made with American grain. It's so bad. It, it tastes sweet in nature, which is not something you want in a vodka. You don't want your vodka to taste sweet. If there's a negative F, if there's a negative F tier, it's below F tier. That's how bad it is. In, in fact, Dylan, you're the editor. Take it off the screen and put it below that. That's how bad it is. Trash, my least favorite vodka to ever exist. If you are a manager of Troika though, please reach out. I will raise you up to a higher level if you pay me. Just kidding. Glass bottle doesn't mean anything. We're grabbing an absolute vodka. This is something that I actually had numerous times. It might be glass, but it can take a beating. I think it's hitting. I think I might be eight out of, eight out of 10. <laughs> this is what my parents felt every day they were like teaching me how to live. Absolute vodka, it's time to do the taste test. Um, I'm ready for it, are you? Oh, that's gonna get extra points. All right. Not bad, you get a very mild amount of bug spray scent, but I, I, I think what I really like about Absolute Vodka is the price point, comparative to what the uh, potential flavor will be. We'll get into that. It's time for a shot. Absolute Vodka, one of the main frames of what I think vodka really should be. All right, Diboja. So Absolute Vodka for me, I feel has such a very embodied texture to it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't give you the, the hairspray vibe at, like in the drinking, it only has a smell. It doesn't give you the earthy feeling that something like Smirnoff gives you. And it doesn't give you the absolute trash that something like Crystal Skull will give you. A lot of you are gonna like absolute, like a lot of you are gonna absolutely agree with me. Absolute Vodka. In my mind, first of its kind is giving is given the S tier, and, and for one one sole reason, the price to flavor ratio is absolutely astronomical. Absolute vodka fills it all. It gets you drunk. It gets you tipsy. It gets you good. It tastes okay, and it makes you feel like you're living the American dream, even if you're Canadian, even if you're from another country. Absolute vodka. We're riding on the S tier, baby. This is the wow factor. The price for flavor ratio is unbelievable. <laughs> but that could be the liquors. Dylan, okay, remember when I was six outside? Like 8.5 out of 10. Like pretty soon I'll black out and nothing will be remembered but the video. <laughs> Next up, Grey Goose. I saved a lot of money by buying the very small bottle. There was one left. 
if I bought the regular bottle, it would have been like the most expensive bottle. So technically speaking, this is the highest amount that you would pay for a bottle of vodka. So if it does not live up, I hope it does. That's all I can say. All right. I've never had Grey Goose. Like I've never had a lot of these things. I'm hoping it's good. Can I just blink? We can deal with this. So remember, I'm talking about big price next to flavor. If this doesn't match up, you might find it on the B tier. I don't know. I mean, I eat a beer. It's cerveza time, baby. Oh God. This is where it hits. What if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not good enough to make a series this good? What if I try and nobody cares? <laughs> I just want to be happy. I just want everybody to look at my videos and I want them to look at me and be like, mm. <laughs> But... Here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think if we just keep going, we'll finish it. And if you would know, no, come back. Come back in. Come back in. It'll be a good video. We have Grey Goose. Acting. Three, two, one. <sighs> it's time for a shot. <laughs> Why did I ever get it right? Time for a shot. We gotta go deep on the Grey Goose. No. 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 It's okay. No. Dylan, no. you only live once. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm Hungarian by nature and Croatian by choice. You don't, you don't just buy Grey Goose to skimp out. Diboja. Okay, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay, so here, here's, here's, my, here's, here's my little fandangle on this. You're paying, for the, you're paying for the bottle, but you're paying for the quality within the bottle as well. I think Grey Goose is worth the price. So, so Grey Goose starts out with like that weird, like, how the hell do you call, what do you, what do you call it? Like that bug spray flavor, but it's, but it's so mild. It doesn't like over, it doesn't overarch the overall feeling. The middle ground of Grey Goose is like, it mellows out. If you ever had a mellow yellow when you were a kid, Grey Goose feels like when you had a mellow yellow as a kid. Unique, beautiful, serene. Grey Goose to me, in, in the grand scheme of ratings and the tier list that we're doing, lands on a B. I think that it really hits the nodes that it's trying to hit. And for the price point, it really does the job. <laughs> Get this part. Wow. Huh? Did I even rate the last one? New Amsterdam. So this is a vodka that you can buy at a local liquor store for a lot of money. Or maybe a little bit. I don't remember. It was $900 at the end of the day. Listen, it's been like maybe two hours of filming. I don't know what's happening anymore. But I 
You won't believe this. Wow, is that me again? You may, you, you, you may be wondering about my shirt. Well, you see, this shirt is a uh, jar walk-in shirt that you can find on dokorion.com. If you look up here right now, you're gonna find like a weird like dokorion.com like banner that's like flying across. Well, there it goes. Uh, dokorion.com. That's where you can actually visit the store and buy this amazing shirt in, you won't believe this, a couple other colors as well. And a couple other amazing products like these. New Amsterdam. Oh, that is very off bug spray. I don't care anymore. Who makes this? It's smooth enough to drink straight. That's all I need to hear. It's time for a shot. Diboja. Still way better than Troika. This one starts out with that perfumey bug spray flavor, but it middles out into like a vanilla crisp, like a nice crispy, it hits you flavor, but then it mellows out into like that smooth, like I don't feel bad having another shot flavor. So I, I feel like this really honestly, like it, it should go on the B tier. So New Amsterdam belongs on the B tier of all the vodkas. It's a high honor. Where are you from? We've made it to our another five shot glasses fold. It's time to clean the glass. Of course, we only source our water from natural Saskatchewan rivers. Wait, Dylan. This is impressive, but where did I get this green fleck on my skin? It must be Christmas trees. Kettle one vodka time! So kettle one vodka in my mind is the closest to Vodoka vodka that you can get without being Vodoka vodka. I, I think kettle one vodka is amazing. So let's go. Diboja. Kettle One's so good. In my mind, Kettle One being a Latvia, is it Latvian vodka? Kettle One has such a good flavor. It starts out really smooth, it mills out really smooth, but it ends off in a very earthy, but peppery flavor for me. So I gotta rate Kettle One. You won't believe this. Kettle One's an S tier, baby! I didn't know this until today. Smirnoff has a blue label. So while this thing I've ever seen, that means it must be better than its red predecessor. Wow, do you ever like do a spin and you get dizzy? So regular Smirnoff was a C tier. Blue Smirnoff. Smells like poison. Um, but this mother trucker was 10 times filtered. Does that make it better? Does the amount of filtering make it better? That's what we're here to find out. It's time for a shot. Diboja. Wow. Okay, hold up. So if you're willing to fork over the money for the for the Smirnoff Blue, wow. That is so different than Smirnoff Red. Wow, wow, wow. Hold the phone. This is something that I find very interesting. So, Smirnoff Blue is very tasty. It starts off with a very like monotone beginning. It middles out to a, like, I'm getting hints of wood. I'm gonna, a lot of you are going to look at me and they're going to be like, wow, what are you thinking? Smirnoff, Smirnoff Blue, Smirnoff Blue Red, Smirnoff Blue 
absolutely deserves the A tier. It's very good. It's very blue. I think it's very worth the A tier. Fight me on it. I think, listen, Smirnoff Blue is it's 10 times distilled. I think it's very good. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm 100% right. Fight in the comments. I caught the glass. I hurt my stomach. Come on. Dylan, is it funny? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Japanese rice vodka. Haku vodka. Are you ready for it? I'm not. I don't know what it's going to be like. Let's find out. It's time for a shot. Middle out, dude. Oh, this shirt? All right, anyway, let's rip this open. <laughs> to Haku or to not to Haku? That is the question. Wow, S tier. I don't know how to explain it. This is insane. I feel like I could run an entire mile and drink nothing but this. Um, Haku Vodka, S tier. Nobody tell me otherwise. Comments discussed. Loud Environment hit 95 decibels just 10 minutes ago. S tier. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Perfect. S tier. And now we're moving on to Pinnacle. All right, so Pinnacle Vodka is made in Canada, which I think. Now we're moving on to Pinnacle. Pinnacle is made in the U.S. of A. I know Pinnacle has really good Pinnacle vanilla vodka, but I've never had Pinnacle straight. So it's going to be a very interesting uh, ordeal. It's time for a shot. It's pretty much straight. Sniff test. It's okay. I feel like it has a really good, like, bug spray scent, but it's not overpowering to what I think the flavor is going to be. So we're going to see. It's a medium-priced vodka. I know that for a fact. Diboja. A pinnacle at the beginning. Very strong, like if you were to if you were to eat like a burlap sack full of onions, that's what it feels like at the beginning. Very oniony, like very strong flavor, but then it mellows out into more of like a medium bodied dry, and then it closes off into that vanilla flavor. So Pinnacle has that really good vanilla ending, but it's very strong at the beginning. I think this is a very good mixed vodka. But other than that, I'm going to have to place it probably at the B tier. So Pinnacle gets a very solid B for me. Don't worry about it. The next on the list is Ciroc. Not for real. So Ciroc and Sprite on a private flight. This is what all the rappers are clamoring about. Uh, this is what the real deal of vodka is. I'm gonna let you know right away, as a regular average day Joe, is Ciroc really that good? I'm gonna find out. 
We absolutely stand an engraved top, all right? Ooh, so this one has more of a citrusy flavor to it. It went on my skin. Very citrusy, okay. So Ciroc is our very next big hit. Time for a shot, baby. Time for a shot. It smells like Fruit Loops. It's very citrusy, very uh, citrus flavored. All right, Diboja. Oh, ooh, ooh, wow. Okay, Ciroc, the, the main saying is Ciroc and Sprite on a private flight. That makes sense. I personally feel like Ciroc and Sprite if you're on a private flight, it's gonna make a lot of sense. This makes sense with a very big citrusy. This is gonna make a lot of sense with a citrusy partner. Wow. Ciroc and Sprite on a private flight. I'm gonna put this one. Ciroc gets a absolutely beautiful A tier. Have you hit that notification bell yet? Also this shirt from dokoraya.com. Next on the list. We got a wonderful Zerkova. Zerkova, Zerkova. By the way, if you want to get this Doka Ryan <laughs> Jar Walking t-shirt. Wow. Do you feel the heat? The next on the list. There's only a couple left. I don't because this is absolutely the best material for a t-shirt. Oh, I should probably open it first. Time for a shot. Oh. Very strong at the get-go. Kind of kind of like fizzles out. Strong at the get-go, fizzles out into sandpaper, but like finishes off with a very nice smooth texture. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Smooths out into a very fine texture. I gotta say. Zerkova for me gets a very good B tier. Zerkova gets a B tier. Now I'm all right. All right, let's finish this thing. All right, so thanks to Zbiotics, I was able to wake up and actually feel completely fine. In hindsight, I realized if you're gonna have a lot of fun, you gotta pace yourself. So we got the final two. I can't believe I did what I did last time. We have the final two, a three olives and the Belvedere. I believe the Belvedere is the uh, most expensive one. So I'm excited for this one. And three olives is just a really cool uh, sounding bottle. I don't know how much this one costs. Uh, they're both actually looking like they're from, no, they're not. Okay. This one's from not Poland. All right. So why don't we go ahead and start off really strong with the three olives. Move this over there, and uh, let's finish this. Finish this taste test. I bet a lot of you were scared. I wasn't. How do you How do you think I film all my videos? You can't see them right now because they're covered in uh, vodkas. But there's there's a lot of jars that I have to do in a day. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, we don't have the other camera to do this, man. It's okay. Ah! Sniff test. Ooh, fragrant. This one's like if you if you if you ever smell off brand off, this is like off brand off. All right. I realize again I probably could have went to another half shot, but brand new dawn, brand new day. We're doing a full fledged full, uh, we're doing a full fledged taste test. All right, Diboja. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, that's the same as what it was the other 22. Um, this one has like that weird, that I hate to say it, it has that Russian prince ending as it's beginning, but it's okay, I think it's okay because it just kind of like d d dips off, goes into that medium burn, and then kind of goes into like a, almost like a, a saltier ending, which is new. And I don't know why that is. Kind of compliments the beginning. I can't lie, it's not bad. I'm gonna put, you know what? Three olive gets a B. Just weird at the beginning. If they change that, 
A for sure. Hilary <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> anyway, what's this? It's a shot glass. All right, finally. The most expensive bottle that I bought. Dang. It's like a, ooh. It smells like um. when you, okay, like children's sunscreen? Like banana boat, it smells like banana boat. Quite pleasant. Cool. This is a Polish vodka. Mm. Only Belvedere tastes like this. Unadulterated and naturally smooth. Why'd they pick the name unadulterated? Isn't that like one of those sins that you can... How many adults does it take to make a smooth vodka? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's time for a shot. A oh, harder. It's time for a shot. Harder. It's time for a... Harder! It's time for a shot. Dylan. It's time for a shot. I'm not getting better. I'm not getting better than that. Come on. All right. Diboja. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. Wow. Um. This is def. So it's an S tier, and I'll tell you for what reason. I understand the price. It's incredibly smooth. It, in fact, I might even go as far as to say it's incredibly smooth. It starts off with more of like a fresh, open, like air vibe. Like it, gi it gives off like a real like, <sighs> like you're breathing really good, like Polish air. It mediums off into some of that like burn that we really kind of like that kind of makes it into a vodka. But the way that it draws off, it doesn't give a flavor of vanilla. It doesn't give like that weird crispy like mint flavor that you can get in some of these. It doesn't give the the poopy earth vibe. It just it tastes like spring water, which is silly. If you were if you were to make anything with this, I would say make like a vodka sprite, and you really get that you really get that vodka sprite going. So yeah, Belvedere, Belvedere is on the S tier, baby. And who says that the rich ain't keeping rich? You know. Can you believe it? We finally, we did it. We, we, hey, the tier. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't remember half the tiers, but they are existing. In fact, um, cut me out, Dylan, and cut in the tiers. Yep, that makes sense. Well, that's the tier list, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this tier list. Now, remember, in the comment section, you're gonna 100% agree with me because, hey, Listen, I know what I'm doing. Would you do this? I don't recommend it. In fact, nobody should do this. And you should absolutely think about doing it slow if you are. Do it over the course of like five days, not three hours. Anyway, hey, if you stuck around to the end, let me know. Shouldn't we get like the best ones in view? Vodkas? I don't know what the those are. I do. <laughs> Belvedere. Chase, you put his A. But. Oh, and Absolute. You made Absolute S tier. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's not that good. No, dude, that's what you said. You're like, you're like. How many in was this? Oh, th that's like 18 <laughs> or maybe 15. But you're like, no, no, you made you made absolute S tier for sure. You sure these are like the top tiered ones? I'm not even kidding. Like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do S tier? S tier, S tier. Uh, your kettle one, that's S tier. Okay. Chase, you didn't even make S tier. Get out of here. And I can't remember Haku was either A tier or S tier, but I think these are the five S tiers you did. You put Crystal as F. D tier. What? <laughs> you, you're kidding me, right? You don't remember that? I don't remember anything! Dude, dude, no! Dude. I don't remember putting it in the Are you kidding? No. Dylan! Why? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! No, dude. Why the why the f would I put this F tier and this S tier? <laughs> dude, you did. Dylan! No, dude. This is an S tier vodka! Dude, you're kidding, right? No! This is incredible! <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, you did. It smells amazing. 
<laughs> taste it. No, there's no way this is an F tier, Dylan. You, you put it as D tier. Tier. No, 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 it's not, it can't be F tier. Oh. No, yeah, that's F tier. It tastes like, like burnt licorice and hair. Is this like, did you put something else in this one? While I was making this? Maybe it's a bad batch, but this is trash. <laughs> and this is expensive. <laughs> no, belongs. Belongs on the F tier. That's trash. But no, hold on. There's no way that this is an S tier. What? <laughs> Change that now. It's too late. No, it's too late. It's not too late, Dylan. This is this is garbage. This is too late. This is like a D at best. You're gonna get so many comments. <laughs> All right, these are my. Eight, this is my top list, a hundred percent. But now, now, now you have me. Now you have me really thinking. Cause why is a plastic bottle in the S tier? Why is this here? <laughs> I remember rating this as an S. Red tassel is on the A list. Be like, oh, it's effervescent lime and 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 and, and, and julep like ju uh, juniper berries. This one is very stingy all the way through, but it's like it starts off like with like a nice like, <laughs> like some sh crap like that. I can't drink anymore. But this stands. Why is it? Why does it do this? Alright, that's the, this is like your top section. This makes sense. This definitely makes sense. <laughs> so Kettle One Vodka, in my mind, is the closest to Vodoka Vodka that you can get without being Vodoka Vodka. <laughs> Alright, this is your S tier. This is where it stands. This makes sense. This definitely makes sense. This one, I'm just gonna... I can't... I'm done. This probably makes sense. This one, I think, was up there. Uh, I remember it being different. Uh, and this one absolutely, like, trumps all of them. Like, if you're picking anything, pick this one. The new merch drops on Doka Ryan the moment you see this video, so make sure you check that out. And, hey, am I wearing a brand new sweater? You better believe it. Hey, look over here. That's a video that YouTube recommends that you watch. And down here is a video that I recommend that you watch. Let me know which one's better. And up here, that's my face. Click on that and hit that notification bell so you can be notifi notified when I make a video. I did pretty good. I think the I think this is kicking in. We gotta stop.